Welcome to La Plaza España, Sevilla, Spain. Bueno, yo me encuentro en uno de los sitios más emblemáticos de España, pero esta vez en Sevilla. Sí, esta es la Plaza España, una plaza increíble, maravillosa, como pueden observar aquí a la vuelta. Algo que es imponente, una estructura impecable, sinceramente, y muy hermosa. Así que en este video vamos a mostrarles un poco de lo que es esta hermosura acá en Sevilla. Así que quédense hasta el final del video. Mi gente, no se olviden de suscribirse y vamos a dar inicio a un nuevo videito. The Plaza de España is a spectacle of light and majesty. Framed in the Maria Luisa Park, this square was designed by the great Sevillian architect Anibal González as an emblematic space for the Ibero-American Exposition of 1929. The result was a unique square palace in the world. Its proportions are lavish. It has a total area of 50,000 square meters, making it without a doubt the most impressive square in Spain. Along the entire perimeter of the square, there is a canal 515 meters long, which you can explore on board a boat. Without a doubt, a romantic experience. The symbology of the Plaza de España in Seville is also evident in its architecture. The set has a semi-elliptical shape to emulate a hug. It is the embrace of Spain to its formerly conquered American territories. It is also a way of welcoming everyone who steps on it in a friendly way. Of the 50,000 square meters that the Plaza de España in Seville occupies, 31,000 are free space. The remaining 19,000 are built. Specifically, there is a central building, two curved wings, and two towers at the ends. The two wings are galleries with a coffered ceiling, arches, and columns. They unite the central building with the two 74-meter high towers. In their day, these towers were a source of conflict because they thought they rivaled the Giralda in Seville in height. The construction of the Plaza de España in Seville is made with exposed brick, ceramic, wrought iron, and marble. In addition, the complex integrates an estuary or canal that can be crossed by four bridges. These four bridges represent the four ancient kingdoms of Spain, León, Castilla, Aragon, and Navarre. There is also a central fountain, the work of Vicente Traver. He was the successor of Aníbal González in the direction of the work from 1926. It was then that Traver decided to add his personal touch to González's work. Y es que en esta majestuosidad ya también han grabado muchas películas y muchas series. Actualmente están poniendo una tarima aquí atrás, que es para un evento que se va a lograr realizar en este imponente lugar. There are many curiosities of Seville and its Plaza de España. To begin with, we focus on a recurring element that gives this monument its own personality. It is ceramics from Triana, one of the protagonists of the Plaza de España in Seville. Photos of tiles and ceramic decorations in the square flood the imagination of tourists and residents. Because it is one of his hallmarks. Another symbolic element, and another of the curiosities of Seville, are the banks of the Plaza de España. 
there are a total of 48 banks representing the 46 peninsula provinces of Spain, plus the Canary and Balearic Islands. Each one has its coat of arms, its map, and images of historical events represented on a cloth of Pisan tiles. The province of Seville does not have its own bank, but it is represented in four other murals located at different points in the square. The banks of the Plaza de España in Seville have become one of the biggest attractions of the monument. In addition, on the sides of each bench, there are glazed ceramic shelves. Originally they were intended to contain brochures with information on the province in question. Later they have been used to leave books. Its objective is that they are shared by the readers who pass through the square. Undoubtedly, a very original literary initiative. The main attraction of the Plaza de España in Seville is definitely the live flamenco. We are going to take a look at all the Andalusian cultural expression in its maximum splendor.
Bueno, mi gente, espero hayan disfrutado de todo este espectáculo de acá. Sé que no fue mucho, sé que no fue grande cosa. Así que bueno, ya saben, si quieren venir a Sevilla o si viven cerca de Sevilla, vengan a conocer esto porque sinceramente es hermoso. Nos vemos en un próximo video, mi gente. Hasta luego. ¡Chaito!